This video demonstrates an anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction using a hamstrings autograft. The patient in this video is a 16-year-old female who sustained an anterior cruciate ligament tear while playing soccer. A diagnostic arthroscopy of the knees performed, which in this patient had normal articular cartilage of the patellofemoral joint. The medial compartment is expected for articular cartilage disorders and or meniscus tears. This is performed with the use of an arthroscopic probe. Examination of the lateral compartment in this patient demonstrates what appears to be a prior lateral meniscus tear which has healed in the interim while the patient has been undergoing preoperative physical therapy in preparation for her anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. Examination of the notch demonstrates a complete tear of the anterior cruciate ligament with a proximal rupture. An arthroscopic biter is introduced into the knee, which is utilized in order to resect the remaining anterior cruciate ligament stump. An arthroscopic shaver is also utilized in order to resect the remaining ACL stump to assist with footprint visualization and future tunnel placement. An arthrocare wand is utilized in order to clear the femoral wall for assistance with femoral footprint visualization. A microfracture awl is inserted through the medial portal of the knee and is utilized as a marker in order to mark the femoral wall at the point in which femoral tunnel placement is expected to be performed. The arthroscope is then switched to the medial portal in order to visualize this marking. Arthroscope is then switched back to the lateral portal and a curved guide drilling system is introduced through the medial portal. Here the previously placed marking via the microfracture awl is utilized in order to place the flexible guide pin into the appropriate anatomic position. This guide pin is then introduced into the knee and exited out the lateral femoral cortex. Once this guide has exited out the lateral femoral cortex and through the skin, this is snapped into place outside the skin with a hemostat. The appropriate sized flexible reamer for the femoral tunnel creation is inserted into the knee with care to protect the medial femoral condyle. In this patient, the quadrupled hamstrings graft measured a diameter of 8 millimeters and therefore a 8 millimeter flexible reamer was selected. The flexible reamer is then advanced to the femoral wall and a femoral tunnel is created. In a soft tissue graft situation, 25 millimeters of depth is ideal. Here you can see the marking of the 25 millimeter depth and the reamer is continued to be advanced so that 25 millimeters of the graft can be docked into the socket that is created. The reamer is then removed from the knee. Uh, arthroscopic shaver is then introduced into the medial portal with care to resect and remove any remaining debris that exists within the femoral tunnel. A shuttling suture is then passed into the joint with use of the previous placed flexible guide pin. Switching the arthroscope to the medial portal allows visualization of the femoral tunnel to ensure that no back wall blowout has been performed and that the tunnel is in appropriate anatomic position. Attention is then turned towards the creation of the tibial tunnel. Here you see the intermeniscal ligament being retracted out of the way. Here the arthroscopic wand points to the front and the back of the footprint as well as circumferentially around the footprint. In this still shot image you can see the location of the previous anteromedial and posterolateral bundles of the ACL. An arthroscopic wand is then utilized in order to mark the center of these two bundles in order for placement of the tibial tunnel guide. A tibial tunnel guide is then placed at the center of this mark and a guide pin is advanced into the joint. Over this guide pin an appropriate sized reamer is then advanced in this patient an 8 millimeter reamer. Once this tunnel has been created an arthroscopic shaver is introduced in order to clear the edges of this tunnel. 
Arthroscopic probe, as you see, is now delivering the shuttle suture out, which is utilized in order to deliver the quadrupled hamstring graft into the femoral tunnel with use of suspensory fixation. Here, final visualization of the ACL graft in flexion and in full extension demonstrates no impingement.